So you said that your friends are cool with it. Mm -hmm. Your family's cool with it. So has it affected you in other ways? Like is dating hard for you? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I uh, made kind of like a promise to myself that I wasn't going to date until I got out of the industry or just more towards the end of my career Mm -hmm. um, because it's really hard for me to balance life and work. I am a total workaholic. I am very aware of this. I'm working on it. Um, So being with someone in porn was never really ideal for me because I am a jealous person. Mm -hmm. Personally, I know this. I can't see somebody that I love and care about having sex on Twitter. Mm. It would honestly bother me. Mm. Um, well, at least you're honest with yourself. About yeah, that. like it, it, it would even like having crushes on guys in the industry. And then I see them I'm like, hmm. And I don't want to be that person. So um, I have been with someone kind of in the industry, but like not necessarily a performer. So someone who gets it. So and like a, maybe someone who works behind the scenes. Yeah, okay. yeah, kind of. And that was a a good experience. Um, And then after that, I am now with someone who's not in porn. Mm -hmm. And that is a journey. And it's really fun. But it's also really, uh, it's hard because there's not like advice out there. I can't Mm -hmm. just like type in like how to convince my boyfriend that porn is not this or that. Or like... Mm -hmm. uh, how do I make my boyfriend not feel this way? Mm-hmm. Because like I just said, I feel jealous when I see someone that I care for right. being intimate with another, even if I know that it's porn right, and that it's uh, a lot of times just performance. I still, so it's, we're navigating it. Yeah. Um, and he is like a gem because I don't think many other people would be able to like wrap their head around it and then not even... He just likes me for me. His parents know they're absolutely okay with it. Um, I I did get the comment, uh, if I didn't know, I wouldn't know she did porn, which I thought was funny because yeah. I'm like, well, what do people think porn stars are like? I mean, <laughs> we know. Wild. You know? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a very stereotypical yeah. porn star mm-hmm. idea of a porn star, which to be fair, some of Sometimes. them definitely fall into. Yeah. But I think that we also... You know, especially now that it's become more open and there's more people coming mm-hmm. into the industry. And even though the stigma is definitely there, it's a little, I think it's a little bit less. Yeah. So you're seeing like all kinds of girls who don't look like they do porn yeah. in yeah. porn. So I got that comment, but it was at least, uh, I took that as kind of like, okay. Mm-hmm. And like, even in the future, they will probably have a different idea about anything, but mm-hmm. Yeah. So how does he handle you doing scenes? Like, do you tell him you're going to go do a scene? Mm-hmm. Does he want to hear about it? Does he not want to hear about it? Like, do you, like, how do you guys have that conversation? Learning what to tell and what not to tell has probably been one of the biggest things that I've learned. Mm. Um, I come home every day and talk about my day. I say this happened, that happened. If something funny on set happens, he's the first one that knows. Mm-hmm. If something bad happens, he's the first one that knows. Um he knows like when I'm hurting, he it's he like he's just understanding. So it's it is very easy, but I'm not gonna come home and be like, I just got fucked by six dicks in my ass and pussy. It felt so like no. Yeah. I'm gonna tweet that. Yeah. But like, <laughs> Right. And then uh th- that's the other thing is social media, is that I'm on social media and I may be saying things that he's like, What the hell? Right. And you can't look at that because you have a different side of me. You have like the, you have the most intimate parts of me, not my uh, public face. You yeah. Know? So, and I think the longer that we've been in a relationship, that is just become like very easy. I think you just said something that's pretty significant there where you said that he has the most intimate side of you when one would think that having sex with people like for money is an intimate thing that you're exploiting, but you're right because intimacy is not just about like penises going in vagina. Intimacy is about like that human connection, which makes sense that you would share only with like the man you've chosen to be with. Yep. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. Someone like to take care of me. It's really cool. Yeah. Also I'm very much someone that I like to take care of others. I like to have um, family and friends, like around me, I like to know that everyone's okay. So Mm -hmm. I just like family, I guess would be a good way to put it. So it's nice that I've been like able to build a little family here Mm -hmm. and I don't really feel that lonely. 
but we are from the same hometown. So I did um, move all the way across the country just to find somebody from my hometown. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's funny. Yeah. Do you want to have a family when you're older? Oh my gosh. That's honestly, that is, I always say that is actually the only thing I want to do in life. That is mm-hmm. always my end goal. Everything is a means to an end. I, I never, since I was a child, I've always wanted to have a child. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's really what I'm looking forward to in life. Mm-hmm. Um, everything else is cool, but like I want to yeah. be a mom. I want to have a family. Are you worried about like having kids and like how to handle like your how they would handle your career? No, because I think by the time that they're old enough to even know that it's going to be a lot more uh, destigmatized. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so because it already is. Yeah. Uh, and there's always going to be something if at this point in time, like if your parent is like a politician, kids are going to say stuff to you. So mm-hmm. it's like, is, Hey, your mom's on OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's uh, I mean, I, I can think tell about you that. if, um, if there's any reassurance, cause I don't know if you know, but I grew up like my mom wasn't a porn star, but she was a porn director and they worked in my parents worked in the adult industry. And so people always ask me like, what was that like? And was it weird? And like, you know, were you ashamed of what your parents did for a living? And I think it's all about how you raise your child. My yes. parents raised me with like so much love and care mm-hmm. and they were never secretive about what they did. Mm-hmm. They never were ashamed. Like you as a child, you learn what your parents teach you, right? Mm-hmm. So if your parents don't teach you that mm-hmm. sex is shameful and dirty and disgusting, you're not going to grow up exactly. that way. I think the people who like, look at, you know, sex workers who have children and think like, oh, how could you do that? Yeah. Or like your child's going to be so yeah. ashamed are people who they themselves grew up with a ton of shame around yep. sex, which they most likely learned from their parents. Which they most likely still have. Right. Exactly. Well, they do still have. Yeah. And they're taking it, you know, they're, they're pushing that on on you. Yeah. You know, I will say there was, so, um, my mom, you know, has been in the industry for a long time and a year before I was born, she wrote this book called Suze, which was, um, like about her like exploits at the Playboy mansion mm-hmm. and like her work when she worked at Hustler and like all the people she had sex with, <laughs> like all this crazy shit. That's Cause cool. my parents, my parents were swingers. Right. Oh so gosh. like they, they did all kinds of, all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. So she wrote this very salacious book <laughs> and she went on this press tour and I, I found a lot of these old interviews and I was watching them and I watched one in particular, uh, I think it was a current affair out of Australia and the journalists, and this is the seventies, mind you. Right. So there was like a lot, like you can imagine what it was like back then yeah. and like the sexism and that kind of stuff. And the journalist said to my mom in this very accusatory tone, like, so, you know, what are your, what are your grandchildren going to think about you? You know, what are your children going to think about you? Um, when, cause he asked her first, he said, mm-hmm. do you want to be a mother? And she said, mm-hmm. of course I'd love to be a mother. And he said, well, what kind of morals are you going to teach your children? You know, this is what you do for a living. You do, you write this salacious yeah. book, you have sex with all of these people. Um, you know, you shoot porn, like what, what are your children going to think of you and how are you going to raise them? And she said, well, I'll, I'll raise my children. Like, you know, anybody else would, I'll teach them, you know, morals mm-hmm. and compassion, like, mm-hmm. sorry, not morals. It's probably like the wrong word to use, but you know, like compassion Mm -hmm. and, and honesty and like all of the things that, you know, I think are important. Um, and, and then he said, well, what do you think, you know, your grandchildren are going to think about you, you know, when they read this book? And she said, and it it just rings so true now. She said, my grandchildren aren't going to give a damn about my book. They're going to be like, oh, I'm glad that grandmother had such a good time when she was young and hot and like. You know, like good for her. It's going to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> like and, it's- and she also said, she said, and I think too, by the time I have grandchildren, we as a society aren't going to look at mm-hmm. um, sex the way that we do now with yeah. the kind of narrow viewpoint that you clearly yeah. are demonstrating at this yeah. moment. And it was just such a, I don't know. I just feel like that was th- that when I saw her say that, I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. So true and so ahead of her time. And then literally, and I'm the oldest child, literally like less than a year later, she gave birth to me. So she got oh pregnant with me right after that. Like she went home and was like, actually? Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> but it's just interesting because, you know, I grew up like I'm super mm-hmm. close to my family. Mm-hmm. Um, I have two siblings. We're, neither of them work in the adult industry. We're all very close. None of us are ashamed of our mm-hmm. parents and what they did for a living. Um, 
And, you know, she has a granddaughter now, my, my daughter who, you know, will love her for just mm-hmm. being who she is. So I don't know. Sometimes I just like to tell people that story who are thinking of having a family just to like That's let you know sure. from somebody who grew up around the industry <laughs> that like. You won't be messed up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to mess the kid up yeah. simply because of my job. Maybe in other ways. Yeah. But, there's so many other ways. To not f- because of what I do. <laughs> there's so many other ways yeah. to fuck your kid up. <laughs> yeah. And this is not it. Trust me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, exactly. Because, you know, my mother is not perfect. Yeah, no one is. Things that, you know, she did as a mother that... uh I'm like, but it has nothing to do with porn. Yeah. But I think I was raised in a very uh, like open household. My mom knew I was like gay before I did. Mm-hmm. She said, I always thought you're going to come home with a girl because mm-hmm. <laughs> I was just so uninterested in that. Mm-hmm. I had my group of friends. I just loved it. Um, and yeah, she's super creative. She's just crafty and all of that stuff. So I think that's why she's so okay with it. It's because it's just, it's like kind of familiar to her in a way. Mm-hmm. Because it's just more art. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is, right? It is a form of art. Yeah. For sure. So she can understand why I like to do it. 